Hi, it's Phil Jordan. After nearly 50 years of working, studying, and exploring psychic phenomena, and I decided it's time to share some of my thoughts, some of my feelings, some of my understanding of how the psychic mind works. So in a series of YouTube conversations, I hope that some of you will benefit from these thoughts. I have shared a gift that God has given me as a talent, but I believe that it's a, an ability that everybody has. I believe that as we're born with instinct, the same as any other animal in the kingdom, that we can use that instinct for our own preservation, for our own advancement, of our own spirit, and to improve the world in which we live. From that basic core instinct, as we come to understand it and know it as part of our being, we can cultivate an intrinsic instinct called intuition. That intuition will help us throughout our life by knowing and understanding not only our own spirit and how it works in the world in which we live, but also to understand the spirits of others, both as they are contained in the body and those that are outside the body after they've made their transition through death. There has been a lot of controversy about intuition and psychic phenomenon from some of the fundamentalist religious people. However, as I converse with my thoughts about psychic phenomenon, being an ordained minister, I also will share some of my thoughts on religion and psychic phenomenon. I think that as we cultivate our intuitive experience, that if we go beyond that intuitive experience, we can be aware of a psychic existence within ourselves. Occasionally, we will all have psychic experiences. We will have a thought that within moments or within hours will come to pass, or within days or even a year. But there are psychic experiences that are natural to our being. And perhaps part of a process beyond our own being. An understanding of what lies beyond this life. I think many people create or cultivate their psychic self out of need. For instance, I was raised in an alcoholic home and I, I had to know when my father was going to be coming home so I could make myself scarce and not be the subject of some of his alcoholic rage. And out of that need, I began to develop an instinct that went into an intuition, into a psychic occurrence where I could tell, even though he may have been gone 12 hours, I could tell within two or three minutes of when he was going to be home. That's just the very early beginning of cultivating my psychic self. I also had the pleasure of being born a twin, and I have a twin sister. And the common bond of telepathy between twins is a very interesting experience psychically. The telepathic communication from one to another is rather uncanny. I think that our bond of relationship is connected first and foremost with those in our close love circle. Our family, our parents, our siblings, our grandparents children. And I think that bond of connection 
is connected to us by the very simple bond of love. Because those people are an extension to us, and we know what is going on in their lives, whether we realize that or not. And we can become aware of the good and the bad, and perhaps even save some heartache or sorrow, or perhaps share on some joy. Is that bond of connection between people that creates for us an understanding that defies explanation. It's that same connection when two people who are friends suddenly realize that that friendship is deeper than a mere friendship and has grown into love. And they want to share a relationship together for their lifetime. It is that same bond of connection, the bond of love, that lets a mother know that her child is in jeopardy, even though they may be thousands of miles away. Or it's that bond of connection where a mother may know that her daughter is with child, and share in that joyful anticipation of a pending birth. So we see that instinct, intuition, and psychic phenomenon is a very common occurrence to all people and has all the ability in the world to be developed. All you have to do is learn how to relax and allow it to happen. Easier said than done for most people. Because many people are too critical, too scientific, look too deeply into things. And I think you just have to let go and let your psychic occurrences take place. Our mind is what people think we have to develop in order to experience psychic phenomenon. Although that information comes through the mind because psychic means mental, it's in our hearts that we get the true information, that uncanny feeling within your heart, not your mind, that lets you know that you've had a psychic experience. In the weeks ahead I will share many different thoughts. Thoughts about religion, thoughts about reincarnation, thoughts about the human aura, thoughts about spirit survival, communication with the so-called dead. In the weeks ahead I hope that I may enlighten some of you to become more aware of your own psychic abilities. And I hope that in sharing this through the YouTube that people will benefit from it. It's been far too long that we have shrouded psychic phenomenon with mystery. And it's time we took a no-nonsense, common-sense approach to understanding our whole being, not just our physical being or our psychological being, but exploring our spiritual being as well. Thank you for allowing me to share these moments with you.